crunch, crunch, crunched, crunched. I love a crunchy crunched. With your host, Nix Muse. Today's episode, Hungry Like the Wolf. I just ordered a pizza from Olive Oils that is on Brookline Boulevard in the Brookline neighborhood. Um, the first thing I want to mention is that I literally had to bring a towel to sit this on because the breadsticks on the top here, these are the breadsticks, are that greasy. Look how greasy that is. <sighs> probably going to taste great, but also very concerned, I guess, about the amount of grease coming out of here. And then I got myself tiramisu. It's the uh, bachelorette life weekend here. Olive oils, pizzeria, and more. Several locations. Also, guys, they need some help, so maybe call. Ooh. Yeah, these look delicious. They look very greasy. Mmm, breadsticks. Some marinara. Very nice. I almost always get a cheese pizza for my very first pizza from a place. But today I wanted to do something a little bit different, so I went with a Hawaiian, mostly because Corey's out of town, and a Hawaiian pizza is my favorite pizza. Uh, the crust looks good, looks chewy, got some nice bubbles. Oh, hey, hi there. Uh, we got the ham and the pineapple, standard fare, red sauce. Alright, I'm going to dig in and I'll let you know what I think. So, after eating two slices, my only complaint is that here in the middle, it's too soft. So, the crust is thin, which I like. You know, out here on the outer edges, it gets a little bit thicker with the bubbling and stuff. But in here on the inside, it just gets, like, right here, you can see it. It's just too thin, which means that, as you saw when I tried to pull the slice out, everything just falls apart because it's too wet. The crust isn't thick enough or crunchy enough to hold all of the cheese and then all of this wet pineapple and ham, which is something that I find on a Hawaiian pizza pretty often, is that the juice out of the pineapple causes the pizza to get really wet which means without a super substantial or very, very crispy crust, it's going to get soggy in the center, and then it's going to be hard to pick up a slice. As it cools down a little bit, it gets a little bit better, um, and I really like the crunchiness on the ham there. It's really good. The pineapple is fresh and juicy. Well, canned fresh. And the ham is delicious. Overall, it's a decent pizza, and it wasn't super expensive, the delivery time was quick. The breadsticks are good. They're very greasy, so I can't see that being an all-the-time thing, only because they're so heavy. So with these breadsticks, I like how some of them are joined. You can see that they're, you know, they're handmade. Uh, they have the Parmesan and a ton of garlic butter on there, so it's really good, but they're really, really, really heavy and really greasy, so it, to me, like, being home alone, I don't know that I'll be able to eat all of these. 
The marinara was pretty decent. I mean, it's it feels like pretty standard fare. There wasn't anything really like stand out about it. In a little while, I will partake in the tiramisu, and I'll let you know how that goes. Oh yeah. Oh, oh hello. Mm. I'm not trying to say that it's not delicious and it doesn't taste like it was frozen, but it's not great. I've had way better. I like a little bit stronger of a coffee flavor in my tiramisu, um, but for the price, you can't beat it. And especially since they brought it to my house, you know, I didn't have to make it. I didn't have to go out anywhere. I, I mean, I have pants on, as you can see from my ample tiramisu loving thighs, but I didn't have to have pants on. I mean, I guess I should have to answer the door. It, that's a whole another YouTube episode. <laughs> but it's good if you need a dessert to uh, sweeten everything up after your super greasy breadsticks and delicious pizza. I think that the pineapple contributed at least in part to the soggy crust in the middle, but I think that with a lot of cheese you may have still had the same issues. So for my rating for olive oils, pizzeria, and Brookline, I give it 5 out of 10 slices. <laughs> first promo videos for Werewolf Style Guide was me in the bathtub working on the blog and eating donuts with the werewolf mask on. I spend a lot of time in the bathtub and I am going to eat pizza in the bathtub today because that's a thing that I do a lot. This is my happy place. I'm not going to call it self-care because everybody gets up in arms thinking that everybody thinks that the only self-care that anyone ever thinks about is spa days and taking baths and treating yourself. Except that anybody who knows anything about having to take care of themselves knows that that's not true. But you all don't want videos of me paying my bills. You don't want videos of me scooping the cat's litter boxes and sweeping up all of the food that they drop everywhere. It's not interesting. So you get me in the bathtub eating pizza. So I got pizza from Union Pie. It is a newer pizza place here in Pittsburgh. I got some breadsticks. Oh, twisted. I like a car braid. Car braid. Look at that. Um, it's pretty good and then marinara I like them because they're not super greasy and it's not too over the top I think I'm gonna get this guy tattooed on me he's I, I like his shape I like his his gusto in in spinning a dough that looks like infinity yeah that's nice He's a, he's a nice looking guy. I'll get him with the potato patch guy, which I will bloop in a picture of. It's from our local amusement park, Kennywood, and they have these french fries called potato patch fries, and there's a guy on the sign, and as you can see right there, he's a handsome guy. He's pretty great. that like the cheese is like weirdly uniform the chicken you know like it just looks it looks like you would be disappointed 
I won't lie. The presentation, not great. I do love the contrast of the green peppers for the jalapenos against the cheese, but overall, when you look at it, you might be like, oh no, this is going to be subpar. Let me tell you. This is the honey jalapeno chicken pizza. There's honey on here. Honey. Honey. It's so good. The crust from them is very good. It's chewy in the way that I like. The jalapenos are the perfect amount of spice and then the honey just evens out that spice so well. It was a surprise delicious pizza. I ordered it because I wanted something a little bit spicy a few weeks ago and both Corey and I really loved it. I think that it's probably one of their best pies and until I try another specialty pie, it's my favorite specialty pie from them. So as I was sitting here munching on this slice of pizza, again, I'm, I'm sorry to disappoint anybody who's only been watching this YouTube channel for the pizza reviews where maybe you'll get to watch me eat a bunch of pizza on camera, but uh, I ate it off camera. I want to talk about what I could only find a way to describe as the ass end of the pizza. Look at that. That's nice. Then it, you know, there's a lot of cheese on here. Ooh. No red sauce, which I'm excited about. And you can see some of that honey in there. Ugh. It's really good. And the crust is crunchy on the ends. Like, look at this. There. Oh, there it is. Hey. Oh, I'm party ruiner. Mm-hmm. That's nice. That's real nice. Hmm. It's like a little jalapeno nipple. You know how sometimes jalapenos aren't hot for some reason? Like you get some and they're just whatever, they're fine. Oh my god, I'm burping on camera. <laughs> I'm sorry. But you know how you get them? And they're not spicy. You they're you could eat whole ones, like they're candy. I mean, if you're somebody that likes spicy stuff. But then these ones <laughs> Oh my god. Like, I'm sweaty because this bath is super hot, but I'm also sweaty because these jalapenos were so spicy. They're so spicy. Thank you, Union Pie. It's burning me up. It's delicious. I, in between these little segments that I'm filming, I'm listening to a podcast that I love called The Werewolf Ambulance. And it's friends of mine that review horror movies, and they're hilarious. And... You should go listen to it, and I will put a link down there so that you can find them because it's it's my happy place is eating pizza in the bathtub, listening to Werewolf Ambulance. They have a lot of back episodes, and they're worth going back and watching them. Oh my god. <laughs> the pizza was very, very, very spicy uh, with the nice balance of the honey. And the crunch, 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 crunch. <sighs> I love a crunchy crust. Oh, I also took my makeup off <laughs> from when I started to record this to now. So yeah, breadsticks, nice. Not too doughy, not too heavy. They give you a lot of them and they're not too greasy. The marinara is nice, uh, but you could just eat them without it if you really wanted to. And then if you're gonna get a pizza that's not the traditional pizza, which is what I always suggest for your first pizza from somewhere, go traditional. Cheese, pepperoni, something, you know, just even level playing field. But if you wanna get weird, honey, jalapeno, chicken, pizza. Delicious. Also, if you get the regular traditional red pizza, freshest basil in Pittsburgh. Freshest. I almost showed some titty there. <laughs> I'm gonna end this before I flash my titties. In editing, I realized that I did not give my rating for Union Pie, and that is gonna be a thing, I guess, that I'm gonna be doing. So, 
My rating for Union Pie is seven. Seven out of ten slices. Booyah. As always, like, comment, subscribe, ask for those notifications. Hey YouTube, make the notifications happen. Enjoy. And if you are in the Pittsburgh area, go pick up some Union Pie. Give olive oils a try if you really want to. It was too greasy for my stomach and too wet in the middle. But I absolutely would recommend Union Pie. Bye. <laughs>